I want to bring in someone who just served 10 years in the South Carolina prison system where he witnessed several inmates escape only to be captured and brought back in. His name is Paul. He's better known as Jumpsuit Pablo on social media. All right, I couldn't wait to ask you about the culture of the jail facility where they would have hauled him back in. I envision that they're all sort of cheering through the bars as, as he's walking because they know exactly uh, who the new inmate is. But you fill me in. Right. You know, as far as the new place, because the old place probably pretty annoyed with them. They had to suffer the ramification, ramifications of that. Uh, anytime an inmate escapes from some place, that whole place is locked down until they catch them. So this new place, uh, totally different story. I mean, they're they're definitely tipping their hats to him. They probably want to hear his story. Uh, they want to hear him tell it a few times. They'd like to pick up some tips. He's done what they could only dream of doing, probably. And uh, yeah, there, there, there's no ill will uh, between the other inmates and him right now. And if anything, I'll tell you this, they're probably waiting the day where maybe, just maybe, years down the line, he might come back into general population when all this has died down because they got plans for him. I mean, this this is the guy you want going and getting your contraband. When the packages get thrown over, it's a big problem in prisons. It, it's a whole thing. It's a whole conversation. But I, I think they're ready for him to come, and, and they, they, they would love to just talk to him and get, get to know him. So they're going to find this kind of guy useful? They're going to be rubbing their hands together and, and find oh, him yeah. to be an asset? I, I mean, he's a good escape artist, but why, does he, why, does he, why is he useful now to them? Well, not, not now, but, you know, these guys got nothing but time. Now, there's many people who've escaped that I've come across who they're in the same place as me when I was in prison. I never escaped. See, when that heat dies down, they only have so much room for these high-risk, high-security threat inmates. And then they have more immediate inmates who are. And they got to move them. They got to circulate them. And when all the eyes are off him, even if it's years down the line, that could be the moment he goes back into, you know, around these other inmates. And that's when they're going to want him, even if it's not an escape. You still got to get through these fences to pick up these big packages of contraband, which is the reason why there's so much in these prisons. And he's the who better than him to, to, to get around these corners yeah. unseen, get through these fences and get it and bring it back. Right. Little guy. Uh, what about privileges? Because, you know, again, I'm the neophyte here, but I just assume that he will have zero privileges uh, given what he's just put everybody through. Right. And uh, definitely for the for the foreseeable future. You know, um, I know they got him in a, in a maximum right now. It, the best thing to do with this guy is to go ahead and get him classified and, and send him to what's called a super max prison. Those prisons are a step above maximum security. They're designed to hold guys like this. And then he won't be a threat. But if he's still in a max, uh, just like you showed a picture of the facility he's at, there, you notice there's tables and seats out in this common area where, you know, once you come out of the cells, if those are even there, that, that tells you he's allowed to come out. And he has time outside a cell. And that's for a guy like this, that, that's, I just think that's a little too much. I mean, he could do it again. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.